on today's tutorial we are going to make a timeline um, it's going to have a hover state but the most important part of this timeline component is that it is flexible using auto layout so no matter how many items you add or remove it adjusts and adapts so let's get to it All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our uh, timeline item. So we'll write some text, we'll call it a timeline item. Uh, 16 point is good. We'll zoom in here and then we're going to add our little, little dot. Uh, so the key to this is that you want it to have an even, um, even width and height if you're doing a single pixel line because basically if you want the line I'll show you here if you want the line to go through the middle of it then you need to have an equal number of pixels on each side and since the line takes up one pixel that means you need to have an odd number if this is 10 then you actually can't center it on the line now if you have a two pixel line you could do a even even number circle but we're going to do a one pixel line which means we have to have odd numbers to make up for that pixel in the center okay so we're going to add our dot i'm going to give it fill um, now you should add a fill that's going to match your background because the line will be going behind this circle so leaving it empty is not the best option uh, and then we're going to add a stroke. And then what we'll do for this is we are going to shift A. And that creates an auto layout. Um, now what we want to do here, we'll adjust our spacing a little bit. We'll give it like, sure, six. Um, because I want this to have a bit of a background when we hover over it, I'm going to adjust my padding to six and four. Ramp up my corners. Well, 15 should be good enough. Uh, and then I'm going to leave the fill empty. And this is going to be my basic item. Okay, so we'll call this timeline item. Spell item right, anyways. We'll call it a component. Okay, so right click, create a component. And now we're going to create our hover and our selected state so we're going to add a new version or a new variant we'll call this hover we are going to i'm just going to add a uh, i'm just going to add a white fill so i'm going to give that fill maybe 40 percent actually maybe we'll give it like 60 just so, so you can actually see it and then we will create a new one and then we are going to uh, call that selected put this at 100 and then I'm going to bold this to just to give it a little extra okay so there's our timeline item timeline component or timeline item component complete now we're going to start building our um, actual timeline that's going to go in here so this will be good for stuff like if you see like revision history or something like that or you know even like some sub navs would be nice side navs uh, so what we need to do is we're going to create our line i'm going to make it brown or my black we're going to leave it as one pixel and what we're going to do is we are going to shift a and turn this into an auto layout and we will call it line and we'll just leave that like that for now and then we are going to drag in our timeline item component. Okay, and we'll make, I don't know, three of them for now. Select all of those, Shift A, and we will call this items. And six between is fine, we'll give them four between. Okay, now, we are going to select our line container and our items container 
shift a all right now we've got this inside an auto layout itself and we will call this something spelled properly timeline so now what we need to do is get our line behind here so how I've done that is you play with the padding and you play with the space between so I think 10 padding is gonna work out so you click on your timeline and you go to your spacing and you can actually do negative spacing so you can actually bring this right over so first things first uh, I don't need my my line to be that tall so what we need to do here is we need to select our line component and we're going to do fill and we're just going to make sure our line is also set to fill the container now I only want the line to go maybe to the middle at most so we'll select our line auto layout and we're just going to jack up the padding there we go now if you saw here when we brought it over it doesn't quite line up and that's because we don't have enough padding on our line so you can select your line component we'll make this 12 that should do it grab our timeline component adjust our spacing there we go look at that so we can actually bring that right over to minus 24 uh, we'll select our line and we'll bring our padding down to 11 and that should center then everything's neatly tucked against the side so there we go now there's two ways you can treat your items so you can do it so that if you adjust your space between them the timeline grows and shrinks and that line will grow with it so now it's expandable or the other option is you can set them to be spaced between and then you can grow it by Ooh. See, now that's not working, is it? Because I've done something wrong. Ah, I've got to make sure our items are set to fill container. There we go. So now if I scale this, our timeline can scale this way. Or you can use it. You can scale it with the items in between. Now this isn't working because this guy, because I've been playing with everything in here, uh, this guy is not set to um, this guy got set to fix, so if you do hug then it works. The auto layout stuff gets a little tricky if you start playing around with it, but for this one I'm going to use my spacing to determine the size of the timeline and then you can actually add as many items as you want and that timeline will automatically scale for you so now you can create a component out of it you've got a timeline component you can drag that in to your design and oh we didn't wire up our hover states let's do that real quick so select our first item prototype drag that to there while hovering we'll just do instant and then um, you can use these you probably want to click out to do um, navigation so I won't do a selected state but uh, this should work now so now when we hover we can have a nice hover state for these I know hover is not working on mobile but this is just for examples but now your timeline will adjust for the amount of items you have in it and you don't have to scale or do anything like that and that's it thanks for watching um, if you have any questions put them in the comments um, like subscribe check out my other videos I now have a patreon uh, so if you want to get a little more crazy with uh, some of the in-depth stuff, um, I'll be putting more detailed and more robust tutorials on there. Uh, 
thanks for watching and we'll see you next time